Hello! Welcome back to my channel, and today we are doing a thrift haul. This is everything that I've gotten in my local thrift stores over the past month or so. I get a lot of stuff at the thrift store. That includes fabric and clothes and other random objects. So I'll tell you what I got, why I bought it, or what I'm going to do with it, and how much it cost. There's a couple things that I won't be showing you, like I got some hook and eyes for sewing and just like tiny things like that. So let's get right into the thrift haul. First up is this huge hunk of fabric. This, I believe, was marked as five yards. It's a sort of fleecy, thick, dusty pink fabric. This was $12, which is usually more than I spend at the thrift store generally, but this is five yards of fabric, which is a whole lot. And I have been wanting a 1950s style coat, like a princess coat, like this, for a very long time. However, they are incredibly expensive. So I'm going to make myself one with this lovely fabric, so I'm very excited for that. There may or may not be a video on it in the future. Moving on! I got this adorable little brass cauldron. It's currently filled with dried flowers and such. I don't really have any spooky decorations for my own bedroom, and I thought that this was adorable and I can still make it match my aesthetic really nicely. I've always been into that sort of potiony, witchy aesthetic when it comes to Halloween. This is only three bucks and I'm soups excited to use it to decorate for Halloween. Also, by the way, all the prices that I'm mentioning are in Canadian dollars since I am in Canada. Next up is this pink cotton button up. I got this shirt for only one dollar, which can you say score? It is shockingly hard to find a pink button-up. I've been looking for one for a very long time and I'm super glad I finally found one. Next we have some more fabric, this one in the form of a sheet. This is a cotton polyester blend sheet and I think that it will be adorable to make like a skirt or a blouse or a dress. It's a very particular color and I think it's super pretty. I definitely don't really have a garment that is this color. I find bed sheets an awesome way to get fabric for cheap because especially at thrift stores they're super cheap. I believe this was like two dollars and you get so much fabric like at least two yards. And yes, some more fabric. This is a tablecloth that I plan to make a skirt out of. This I believe was probably 150. I don't know if you can tell but this skirt, I wear it all the time, and it tragically has some huge stains on it that are kind of hard to see in this lighting, but I really like this skirt, and it's kind of too far gone now to save. I tried to remove the stains, and they would not come out, so I will have to resort to making another tablecloth skirt. I'm still gonna keep the one I'm wearing just because it'll be a nice art skirt for if I'm painting or something. The next thing I absolutely love it is this little ceramic dish. It has some beautiful molding all over it and this lovely pink rose with some gold edging. I thought this would be perfect for like the little cakes from Alice in Wonderland. I could make some eat me cakes to keep in here. This was $3 and it's not really anything that I need, but it's so adorable that I couldn't help myself. Next is this golden chain belt, which is rather noisy. This was $1.75 and I really like it for my sort of Middle Earthish sort of elvish looks. When I'm not dressed in the sort of fluffy pink and blue 1950s look, I like to do the sort of cloak and dagger thing. And I just thought this looked really badass, so I had to get it. Something I really like about this that is not the case with a lot of modern belts, it doesn't have any of the sort of jewels on it, if you know what I mean. All of the design and everything is just like molded into the actual metal, so you're not gonna have those little crystals that fall out. Next up is this sweater that still has the tag on it. It has a very vintage-y sort of silhouette, I think. And because I actually don't have tons of sort of autumnal looking clothes, I thought this would be perfect to embroider some sort of little pumpkin or leaves on. It's that sort of reddish gold undertone of brown. This was only $2.50 and I'm super excited to wear it because it's super soft and cozy. Now the last thing I think is super hecking cool. This is a 100% wool navy blue scarf, but the cool thing about it to me is it has this little logo on it. This is the Royal Air Force logo. This one is specifically for the station in Duxford, England. My great-grandfather and my great-great-grandfather both worked for the Royal Air Force during World War II, and I think one of them during World War I also. So I thought that this was super cool. This was only a dollar, which is amazing. This is a perfect sort of way to commemorate my family, especially on Remembrance Day. So I thought this was a super cool find, and I'm super excited to rep my family history. So that would be it for this thrift haul. I'm super happy with everything I got. 
over this past month and I'm definitely going to be doing some more thrifting because I have a problem. Super quick before I finish up the video, I'd like to mention that I have an Etsy shop called Gwen's Vintage Box where I'm selling vintage and antique curated boxes themed after different colors. The link will be in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and all that jazz, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Who is she?